a royal victory. Harry and Meghan take the stage to rapturous applause at the Invictus Games closing ceremony as he praises ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle addressed the packed closing ceremony of the Invictus Games on Saturday night in their last engagement in Australia before heading to New Zealand on Sunday morning. In a short and personal speech to the 12,000-strong crowd in the Close Bank Arena, Meghan thanked organizers and athletes for welcoming her and to the Invictus family. She praised the unshakable bond between servicemen and women and the camaraderie and close-knit sense of community she has experienced at the Games. The Duchess, 37, was followed by a performance from the Kingdom Choir, the gospel choir that sang at Harry and Meghan's wedding. Later Prince Harry took the stage to rapturous applause. He opened his relaxed speech by saying hi guys and told veterans he was humbled and inspired by your determination, your service, and your sense of humor. In a moving tribute to competitors, he said the games was made up of ordinary people doing extraordinary things who have exceeded every expectation. He added, no challenge is too difficult to overcome. The Duke of Sussex, 34, then introduced singer Allo Black to close the ceremony as David Beckham, who was with his sons Romeo and Cruz but without his wife Victoria, cheered from the stands. Meghan turned heads in tuxedo inspired Antonio Berardi halter neck and a green hue with a buttoned wrap detail around the waist that perfectly skimmed her growing baby bump. She accessorized with a crescent-shaped clutch bag and added a dazzling touch to the ensemble with statement earrings beneath her delicate chignon while Harry looked dapper in a light gray suit and white shirt. The couple earlier returned to Cindy just in time to watch the final day of the Games before heading to New Zealand for the last leg of their Commonwealth tour. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at the wheelchair basketball final just after the match started at 2.10 p.m., receiving a standing ovation from the crowd. After the final whistle, pregnant Meghan went on court to give the Netherlands and USA players their medals and one cheeky Dutch player kissed her on the cheek. The bold move was technically a breach of protocol because the correct way for men to greet a member of the royal family is with a neck bow, from the head only, but informal Meghan touched the player on the shoulder and smiled as he kissed her. The Duchess was glowing in a $550 maroon crepe knit wrap top by Australian designer Scanlon Theodore. She wore a Remembrance Day poppy on her left side and paired the top with black tapered trousers and high heels. Harry donned a black Invictus Games polo shirt to show his support for the athletes along with grey trousers and brown shoes. Dozens of fans grabbed their phones and cameras to snap photos of the royal couple as they made their way down the steps between the stands to their seats while others shook Harry's hand. They didn't join Prime Minister Scott Morrison, Defence Minister Christopher Pine, and retired footballer David Beckham and Dean Thorpe in a reserved area, instead sitting with a group of uniformed soldiers. Beckham, who also attended the athletics on Friday night, was accompanied by his son Romeo, 16, but was without his wife, Victoria Beckham. The couple handed out the gold and silver medals after the match which was won by the U.S. team 29-17. Meghan bent down to loop the medals over the American players' necks and shook their hands alongside Harry. The royal couple will later attend the closing ceremony where they will both make speeches, as Harry did at the opening a week ago. Harry, who created the games for wounded veterans after his time in the British Army, will likely take time out to meet some of the 500 competitors from 18 countries, as he did last weekend. The couple's afternoon start to the weekend followed a late Friday night for the pregnant Duchess where they attended the Australian Geographic Society Gala Awards at the Shanghai La Hotel. Meghan dazzled the ball in an $18,000 black and white Oscar de Laurenta cocktail dress and accepted a toy wombat and numbat as gifts for her upcoming baby. Harry accepted an award for outstanding contribution to global conservation on behalf of his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II and made an impassioned speech about the plight of the world's forests. We cannot stand by and let our wildlife disappear from the earth and our fish from the seas. I think we can agree tonight that there cannot be any more excuses, he said. The event was just hours after their plane aborted its landing into Sydney Airport. Their Qantas charter flight from Tonga, a Boeing 737, pulled up from the runway seconds before touching down. Its pilot, Nigel Rosser, 
explained over the tannoy system that another plane on the runway had been slow to roll and the two aircraft were too close so he decided to abort the landing.